What's up, man? Got another little video, another little story and shit, you know? Tell y'all about this little story and shit. So, you know, like, as a younger guy, you know, I was into, you know, a lot of mischief, I could say. You know, I always, for some reason, I always got fucked with by the police, you know. I don't know if it was kind of like because of the car I was driving, because of the neighborhood I was hanging in. You know, I used to hang in these projects and, you know, I had the, uh, you know, I used to have a Caprice with the, you know, 24s on it. And, you know, back then that was like a dope boy car, if you want to say, you know, I wasn't selling drugs, but, you know, I just had that shit. So the police used to fuck with me a lot, you know. So, you know, one day I'm, um... I'm in my fucking my lighter. It. One day I'm in uh, hold on one sec. All right, so yeah, one day I'm in my fucking you know projects and shit, fucking with my nigga. I'm just gonna tell y'all like how you know God always been with me through my whole life. You know God just been with me. You know it's been times I should have been in jail, I should have been dead, but somehow, some way, I made it up out that thing. So one day, you know, um, I was with, I was at my homeboy crib in the projects, right? And you know, back then I used to, you know, fuck with the pills hard. I used to be on the perks hard. I don't really don't fuck with perks no more, but I used to be on the bitches hard as a motherfucker back then. So goddamn, I'm goddamn, you know, my bad if y'all see me keep looking up. It's a motherfucking bee that's always in front of my fucking window. Fuck. Like, he just he be staring at me. Anyway. I'm in the hood, you know, all my nigga and shit. You know. Smoking hella weed, you know. Fucked up off me purse. So, goddamn, you know. I get ready to leave my homeboy crib or whatever. So, like, shit. As I'm about to leave. You know, I got like eight school buses on. You don't know what the school buses is. It's a motherfucking yellow tins. You know, the big yellow tin perks. I had like eight of them bitches. You know, I had like a, had, and I had a blunt. I don't think I had no weed with me that day, but I had, I definitely had a blunt. You know, doing stupid shit. I'm like, I'm, so I'm about to leave my new career. I got a pocket full of perks. Got a blunt. So goddamn, one day, so I, not one day, but I get ready to leave that bitch. You know, I'm pulling off. Light up the blunt, pulling off, you know. So as I'm pulling out the projects, I see a cop come. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't really thinking too much of it. You know, I ain't thinking they're going to fuck with me too much. So I'm like... I'm just gonna sit right here. I'm, I'm at like a little stop sign type shit. I mean, I'm just gonna sit right here until, you know, that motherfucker got down, ride past me, or, you know, just go somewhere else. So I'm, I'm sitting there and I kind of put my head down, you know, so that way, if he, I think he rode past me. So, you know, when he ride past me, he, he think I'm just sitting there on my phone or some shit. So, you know, boom, I got my head down. So I, you know, I, I keep my head down for a little second. Goddamn. Next thing I know, I look up, you know, to see where the fucking, see where he at. I look up, I don't see him. So I'm like, oh yeah, he done rolled past. Look at my rear view mirror. There's a motherfucking police behind me, bro. It had to be another police officer. I don't see how the fuck he got around that quick, but if it was the same one or where, I don't know. So when I look up my rearview mirror, the bitch behind me. Mind you, I got all these perks on me. I'm like, bro, if this nigga pull me, he gonna smell the weed. Cause I done lit up the gas. He gonna smell the weed. That's gonna give him a reason to search. Then boom, he gonna find these perks and it's over for that. They in a, I got the perks in a fucking, if you smoke Newports or know about cigarettes, a little plastic that come off the box. So I got the perks in the motherfucking plastic. So boom, I, I, I pull off, you know, he behind me, so I pull off. 
So instead of going to wherever I was going to, I try to, you know, go back to my nigga crib. I'm finna try to go back to his crib so I can get about his car. Goddamn, hold on. So I fucking pull over, you know, I mean, I mean, not pull over, I pull off, bust a left. As soon as I bust a left, whoop, whoop, the nigga put his lights on. I'm like, oh shit. So now, you know, I'm I'm not panicking, but I'm panicking. You know what I'm saying? I ain't panicking too much, but you know, I'm panicking. So goddamn, I'm like, shit. So I, I put the blunt out. And I'm fucking, you know, I'm trying to think of what to do with the purse. Cause I'm like, if they search me, it's over. I'm trying to think of what to do. And mind you, I'm trying to think quick. Like everything going through my head. Cause all he gonna, you know, when he get out the car, he walking up to the car. So I'm like, oh shit. So what I'm thinking, what I'm gonna do with the purse. I'm trying to hide them. I can't find nowhere to hide these bitches. Mind you, I got plenty of stories like this coming, man. It's been so many times this shit not happened to me. But anyway, you know, I, I got the purse in my hand. My dumb ass put all the perks with the plastic. I still got them in the plastic wrap. I put that shit in my mouth and try to swallow these bitches. You know, just, that's how you know I probably did panic because I wasn't even thinking. Like, I wouldn't could have died. Got, didn't even take them out of plastic. Like, just, you know, that hard ass Newport plastic. I throw that shit in my mouth, man. I try to swallow that bitch. I can't swallow that motherfucker. So I'm like, oh shit. Spit that bitch back out. By the time I spit that bitch back out, the motherfucker is at my door, bro. So now I got them bitches in my hand. So he talking to me, you know, asking me for my license. I don't even think I had L's that. I don't even think I had L's at the time. You know what I'm saying? So tell him I ain't got no license. So, you know, boom, boom, boom. They doing a little talk, little jibber jabber. Another police pull up. So I'm like, yo, when that second police pull up, you best know they finna search your ass. You better know they finna search your ass. So the next cop pull up, I'm like, fuck. Got them, still got the perks in my motherfucking hand. So I got them, after they get done talking and shit, he tell me to get out the car. So boom, you know what I'm saying? I get out the car or whatever. So he was like, you know, he wanted to search me. So he's like, put your hands on top of the car. So I got the perks in my hand like this. It's one car standing on the other side of the car, one of them behind me, you know what I'm saying, getting ready to search me. So I put my hands on the car, but, you know, I got my hand laid flat on the car, but it's perks under that bitch. Like, all he got to do is just lift my hand up and he going to see the bag. So I put my hands on top of the car, got the perks under my hand. I'm kind of like cuffing them like this, you know what I'm saying? But I got my, I'm trying to, you know, play it off, trying my hardest to play this shit off, you know. So... He's searching me and shit. He don't find nothing on me. So he like, all right, go stand back by my car. So, you know, I was sagging a little bit. So, you know, I, I kind of drug my hand off the car. And as I drug my hand off the car, I fucking, um, you know, I cuffed the perks. So I, I'm sagging a little bit. So I pull my pants up. And as I pull my pants up, you know, I throw them bitches in my pocket. So, you know what I'm saying? He going through the car searching my shit. I'm standing back there by his car, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, waiting for him to get done or whatever. So, after he get done, you know, he ain't find shit. So, he end up, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Go park this bitch. Don't be riding around on lights. The motherfucker let me go. Like, that shit was crazy, man. I couldn't believe that shit. Like, if you would've found them bitches, man, it would've been over for you, boy. Like, I probably still would've been in jail for that shit. Nah, and that was a minute ago. I probably would've been out, but, like, I thought it was over for me, bro. I thought it was over for me, man. Cause I couldn't believe how the fuck I got off like that. Like, the bitches was literally right there under my hand, bro. Like, and they staring at me. Like, it's like three cops. I couldn't believe I got off with that shit, man. That shit was crazy, but, you know... That just go to show, man, God was always with me, man, when I was younger, man. He was always there, you know, but when I wasn't even noticed it. Now looking back on shit, it's like, damn, bro, like, you should have been caught with that, you know. And it's just crazy, man, like, I 
was scared, boy. I thought I was gone. I ain't even been locked. At the time, I ain't never been locked up. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck. Like, this time, I don't know I'm gonna be sitting in that bitch. Because these ain't no... It ain't just one per. It's eight of them bitches. He gonna try to say I'm selling these bitches. I'm like, fuck. But yeah, man. I got off of them shits, man. And thank God for that shit every day, man. Thank God for that shit every day. Hey, which I don't understand is I got so many stories about times I got pulled by the police and somehow, some way, bro, I got I got I got off, bro, without having to tell them nobody or none of that shit. Like, so I know it was God, man. So that's why I be saying, like, y'all, man, like, even if you're doing wrong out there, man, try your hard to keep your faith and pray, man, and you know, don't pray, you know, that you like doing bad or don't pray because you're doing bad and you hope something don't happen. But you know, just keep your faith, man. And, Hopefully you get through that shit, man, because I'm telling you, man, he was always with your boy. So that's all. That's my little story for the day, man. Hope y'all like that shit. If y'all want to hear more about these crazy-ass stories I got, man, just let me know in the comments. Throw me a like on that bitch or something, man. You know, we finna grind this motherfucking YouTube the fuck out, man. I'll let y'all see how far I get with this shit. You see me now in the little ass phone camera, you know, in this last spot, we gonna build this shit and build this shit, man, y'all gonna be with me the whole time, man. watch a nigga grind, man, you gonna watch a nigga grind and shine, man, and, you know, you gonna start doing giveaways, money giveaways, all that shit, man, whenever I get to that point, man, it's coming, whenever I get there, it's coming, so y'all just stick with your boy, man, give me a like, give me a comment, share this bitch, whatever you gotta do, man, to help support your kid, man, so, I'm holla at y'all.